I'm going to be upfront here. I've never liked Ball Blazer. I remember back in the 80s hearing about it as this amazing game, and I finally got a copy for my Commodore 64, and I went, this is it? Decades later, and I can recognize why at least some people like the game, but playing it today, I still feel like it doesn't work. Part of that is the march of technology. Ball Blazer's gameplay concepts are severely limited by the 80s technology. But I also feel like there's some flaws in the design that mainly come from being the first people to try to make something like this, and so not being able to spot these flaws. Ball Blazer is one of the first two games from Lucasfilm Games. Infamously, it almost shut them down before they got started. The release of Ball Blazer was heavily delayed, and the game was leaked months before its release. So while it was a fairly popular game in 1985, it also barely sold any copies. The premise of Ball Blazer is that it's a futuristic sporting event, similar to lacrosse. There's only two players, and they both control futuristic hovercrafts. The top half of the screen is a first-person view for player one, and the bottom half of the screen is the view for player two. A ball is shot out into the field, and you run into it to grab control of it. When you have control of the ball, the A button shoots, and if you don't have control of the ball, the A button still tries to knock the ball out of the other player's hands, or whatever the machine has. Two goalposts are moving side to side at the back end of the arena. The more points you have, the closer they are together. And if you can shoot the ball in between them, you get points determined by how far away you were when you shot. The scoring system has one more complication. You win by either having more points when time is up, or by having 10 more points than your opponent. The way that the markers on the screen work is that once they're all filled in, getting more points takes points away from the other player. Part of the challenge in Ball Blazer is that when you move, the ball drifts from side to side on you. That makes lining up a shot when you get close to the goal kind of tricky. You also move slower when you have possession of the ball, allowing the other player to catch up. One of the more confusing things in Ball Blazer is that your view is always orientated according to the horizontal and vertical axes of the playfield. You only rotate 90 degrees as well. If you have possession of the ball, you're always facing the goal, and if you don't have possession of the ball, you're always facing the ball. But as a consequence of that, your view often rotates and you can't tell that it's occurring. Without any features in the landscape other than the ball and the players, it's very difficult to orientate yourself. You might have to scan around the playfield for a while before you can find anything. I also found it very difficult to get control of the ball once the other player had it. You really need to get ahead of them and then at a 90 degree angle on the ball from them and then try to shoot it out of their hands and then hope it doesn't rebound back into them. I recognize that this is something that you could practice and get good at, I just found it needlessly unintuitive. Something to be aware of in Ball Blazer is that when you turn the power on, the game is in a two-player mode. There's no obvious menu either. You have to press select to bring up the options, and there you can change the length of a match, or choose to play against an AI opponent. There's nine AI skill levels, and I honestly think they felt kind of reasonable. Perhaps not as smooth as a human being, but good enough to be a playable AI. I find playing Ball Blazer to just be too disorientating. When there's no visible features, you don't know when you've rotated 90 degrees. And there isn't a good way to know what position the ball is in relative to you. And the field is awfully large for just two players. Now all of that said, I do think that this is a fine port of Ball Blazer. If you ever liked the game, I think you'd also like the Famicom port. It's just, I've never liked Ball Blazer, so this port did nothing for me.